Hi YouTube. Well, we have ourselves another critique video here, so we'll get right on it after this short intro. Okay, well this drawing was submitted to the Ricks Can Do It Realistic Drawing Group on Facebook. And whenever that happens, well, they put themselves on the firing line to get a critique. Yeah, you benefit as I go and Nikki pick. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. I'm feeling like a brat right now. All right, so here we have a photo and we have a drawing. And we're going to take a look at this drawing here. As you can see, it is a very nice drawing. There are some obvious differences. Can you guess what that is? Take a look. Oh, this is lighter than this. Now, I'm bringing this out because when I go through a lot of these critiques, the obvious thing that comes out on most of them is that they're not dark enough. And it is an easy problem to fix. So the first thing we're going to do here is simply bring the tone of this closer to this. So that's what I'm going to do. Now again, this is a printout of a drawing. This, I can't actually erase anything. But I can add things to it, which is all I'm going to be able to do and is, which is all I'm going to do. So let's see. Now I can go with charcoal powder or I can go with graphite powder. I think in this case that a charcoal powder would probably get me there a lot quicker. So I'm going to use this General's charcoal powder here and I'm going to use this Q-tip here. And let's see if we can at least get the tone darker to match this and then we'll go from there. Okay, now that I've shaded it down and made it much darker, we still don't match, of course, but it does bring out some obvious things. As soon as I tone this thing down or darken it, you'll notice that the eyes now pop out much brighter than here. So you know that you're going to have to now go in here and take care of the white of these eyes because eyes should never be white anyway. So once we have the outer area done, and it's not smooth, 
And again, remember, this is a printout. This is not a drawing, unfortunately. So there's only so much I can do on a printout. But I'm going to even this out just a little bit here. And then I'm going to use some of this that's on the Q-tip. And I'm going to then tone down the whites of the eyes. Okay, let me get some of this off here. I got a lot of extra powder and stuff. All right, so I want to tone it down to look more like this. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to darken that up in here and here. And here. And the other nice thing about darkening your drawing is that your highlights are going to really pop once you put them in. So let's just get this part taken care of here. I'm going to get this as nice and frosty as possible here. Just get these toned down so it's still a little bit on the bright side. I'm going to use a, uh, let's see, what pencil can I use? I'm going to use this uh, Geoconda pencil here just so I can come in here and, and uh, add some additional darkness that I see in the original and around the eyes here it's a little bit of that going on you got to get that in there okay and in here I want to get these details in here very important okay underneath the eyes here I see that we have that here. See, this is the time where you can come in now and start darkening certain details. And at the same time, you can start bringing out the highlights. And that includes on the uh, skin itself, which we're going to do here in this video. As soon as I just get some of this in here. I want to get, get this as close to the photo as I can. Okay, now I just wanted to get that darkened in a little bit. It's not quite there yet, but it's a start. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that one, I'm a little blotchy, of course. That's going to take some smoothing out. Okay. But the other thing, too, is that you're going to have to take a look at the highlights of the skin. Now, here I have a chamois, for example. And I'm just going to take this chamois and give it some kind of a point or something, just so I have some kind of control. And I'm going to actually use it to pull highlights out. Now, watch how I do this. I'm going to come in here. I'm looking at this here, for example, so I'm going to pull that out there. Now you see how it's starting to create some highlights? Just play with that. And try to get it to where you know you're you're looking more like the original. Probably shouldn't use my fingers, but and let's see around the cheeks here. You might call this preliminary work here, just to get the some of it started here, so you can start seeing more three D realistic pattern with the skin and the lights coming off her skin there from the camera or whatever was causing that lighting. And remember, we're going to have to go in here and smooth it out. I'm just getting the rough areas here where I could see there's definitely highlights. 
And I'm just using a chamois here. We'll fine tune it in a second. A little bit on the nose. So I'm just going to give you guys some idea of what you can do. Uh, I took a little too much there, but that's okay. I can put it back. I'm here kind of just tapping it to give it a little softer look. Just get it a little softer here. So it's not so harsh because I kind of went in a little too harsh here. And I don't want to be too harsh on this little princess, so we'll just, just do that. Okay. So then just come and go in here and, and make sure you get your shapes right and your shadows right and and uh, tone down things that need to be toned down and bring out the bring out the darkness where it needs to be dark right here definitely and go in with my pencil here just ever so gently just lay down some some good old dark material I don't know what kind of material this is it's not quite a charcoal according to California it's cancer causing but everything in California is cancer causing so I moved out all right there we go see so we can just get that in there and smooth it out Any place that you think you've you need to address, just address it. Okay, this is the best time to come in here and shape your highlights. Oh, I got a downpour going on outside. Glad I'm in here when it's nice and comfy. Alright. So far I've been doing most of this with a Q-tip. Just try not to, you know, leave any of the blotchiness in there. This paper is kind of weird, so I'm a little limited here, but no biggie. I'll get it. Another thing too, of course, you can use your kneaded eraser. Come in here with your kneaded eraser and uh, bring out those, bring out those highlights. Well, wow, that rain's really coming down now. Whew. Tip of the nose. Watch this. I'm going to get that tip of the nose there. Let's try this. A little electric eraser. Got a nice little glare in there. All right. Surrounding area needs to be a little lighter. Uh, so easy to hit that button, drives me crazy. I keep my fingers away from that button. Uh, lighten up the area around here a little bit. Look at that nice little shine on that nose there. Uh, just kind of dance that little race around a little bit. 
Look at that. Use this as an eraser pen a little bit. Just kind of get this thing. I mean, you can do a lot. You can do a lot. Whew. Look at that. Are we getting closer or what? You like that? And look, we're going to. I'm going to bring some of the highlights out of this plastic, transparent plastic thing. Just get in there and... See, things come out better when it's darker. You really can get in there and do this stuff. Can't get that light enough because it's too dark on the original. Yeah, bring that out a little bit. And of course you can go in here and make all kinds of changes. Now I can't erase any of the original, obviously, but I'm going to try to see if I'm having a little fun here. Now, I can't get it as white as as that because of the original paperwork, but I'm going to use this white gel here and I'm going to whiten up some things like these eyes and this one here. Okay, and then got a little white here. Yeah, and then go to Creative Town here. Little light glow coming off of some of this stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. What do you guys think, huh? Leave your comments down. Comic section, let me... Let me know what you think about all this craziness I'm doing here. I read all your comments. Oh boy. I love it. See a little light reflecting off this plastic thing that she's got on here. Look at that. Is that awesome? All right. And remember, I'm a little handicapped here because, uh, you know, I have this, this is a, a, a printout. This is not a drawing, this is a printout. Now down here, you can see this, this hard line uh, for the face. You got to get away from doing that. Instead, you can see that she was copying from this dark area here, but notice it starts to go lighter and lighter as it gets to the face. So what you want to do is you want to come in here like so, and then you want to blend it into the face and lighten your stroke. And then blend it right into the actual face itself. So you don't end up with just this dark line on the face, which is not natural. You give the face more of a rounded look. Coming out like this and just 
Just move it on into the face here. Okay, so we don't want any lines. We want shading. That's what we want is shading. Now I need a paper blender. So I use this paper blender right here. I'm just going to blend it into the face. Long live rock and roll. Okay, we need some more. We need some more because we're going to bring it all the way up, up to here. So let me just lightly, just so lightly, add some more material here. Okay, because we need to keep, we need to give this face nice little roundness here. See? All right, then. Just going to blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Doesn't blend well in this paper, I can tell you right off the bat. Oh boy, I wish I didn't have this handicap because I really want to do this. But anyway, there you go. Just, just do the best you can. In this case, of course, the artist has the original. She can do all the necessary changes that I can't do. I can give the idea. It's what I can do. You know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of this with this off and see what happens here. Because there we go. Yeah, it's that pencil doesn't blend well on this paper which is frustrating me. So we need some more, let me get a different pencil. Let me try this 12B here. I'm not quite sure how that's going to fly on here. Might actually uh, cause a reflection in the um, camera so you won't get a very good idea of what I'm doing. Let's hope it doesn't do that though. Let's see, this has all got to be darker. Let's see if this will blend on here. Wait, nothing blends on this paper. Ugh. Come on, seriously? This is not drawing paper, it's not working that great. But I, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Just so you can get a good idea of what needs to be done to bring this out to become more realistic. And yes, I have brought it out a little bit, but I hate to do things halfway. Wow, that looks pretty darn good though. Okay, the eyes, the eyes need a little bit a little more fuzzies here. Blend, blend, blend. Come on, blend. All right. I think we're getting there. Got a little darker area here. Want to get that in there dark. Get it dark.
got a wider look to her right here. If I can get that in there, that'd be great. If not, do what I can. This is wider, she's wider eyed here. Gotta get a wider eyed. Now listen to that rain out there. Using this Tombow Mono here just to kind of control the shaping of the shading here. Up and over, up and over. this over here <sighs> see the racer and blenders you have a lot of control once you have a darker area to work with you can really bring out a lot of the details and stuff. So all the highlight areas, the lighter areas of the skin, you just you just bring that out. And then of course I'm gonna tamp it down a little bit. If I get it too light, you can darken it down a little bit and get it just the way you want it to be. Underneath the eyes here. Wish I can get it a little lighter than that, but I will not be able to because this is a printout. So I'm a little bit restricted in being able to get this thing all the way to where I want it to go. I know I keep saying that, but just in case you didn't catch me saying it the first time. Besides, I have to explain why certain things aren't going to come out the way I want them to. But, oh, this is really, really enjoyable. This is a lot of fun to do, you know. Now we got to make sure we, make sure we don't have lines showing up here. It's got a nice blend here. There we go. Don't want to forget I got this little puppy. I can use this. Here in the upper lip. Get 
Okay, that's not going to come out, is it? No. Well, it's the best I'm going to be able to get with that. <laughs> oh boy, this is fun. The nice highlights there on the nose and then I'm going to darken this area here this is really going to give that nose some shape it's going to come on dark at first but it'll lighten up in a second as I come in here and I do this, see then I have full control. Look at that. Yes siree. Full control. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do on this for now because I think I got my point across here and that is, is you want to darken it up and once you darken it up you can come in here and you can start taking out your highlights all your highlights, the highlights around the nose, the highlights on the rubber plastic, the highlights all this, all this stuff here, everything, you can start shaping the cheeks give it the more 3d look but you got to have this thing darker otherwise a lot of your highlights are not going to show through and that is unfortunate but again as you know like I mentioned this is a printout and being a printout means that I can only do so much to it because I can't erase anything okay or or smooth things out or whatever the case may be so you can see I'm getting the highlight area the dark area you know you definitely want to smooth the skin out and then get those nice little highlights in there so that you have the tonal differences between light and dark because of the lighting that she's got going there okay but there you go alright so you can see that it's much closer anyway I hope you like this critique video if so please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already click the notification bell so that you will be informed of my upcoming videos and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching